underground fertility scam targeting childless women. I don't have any money to be susceptible. I don't have any shame that one. If you want me to give you the account number of the guy that will buy the drug, I'll be able to pay direct to the person. Ours is just to use it, mine is just to use the drug. And the ratio when she uses that drug to that open five minutes, she will give me. Why not? Is it not what I have my job? If somebody he, he wants to get pregnant now, you can give the person the same drug and the person will get uh, pregnant, have you? Yes, if you need three plates, I'll give you medicine for three plates. If you need two double, as she's not carrying two, I'll give you medicine for uh, three. Then if it is one, I'll give you medicine for that. Then the money for one is 150. The money for two is 300. Then money for three is 450. For taking you know, then once you develop the risk, then we know how much the drug will be for the delivery. This is my compound. I cannot run away from you. Dad, I will give you back your money. Watch out for FIJ's latest investigation. The thing inside your belly. A woman's four-year pregnancy exposes a crime ring in eastern Nigeria. It's a story of cruelty, loss, and pain. I have the name of the pregnant, big two pregnant. Mm -hmm. That is why the passport is now here's today's big hard fact. UNESCO created the term baby factory in 2006. I'm mentioning baby factories because these fake pregnancy scams are a front for baby factories. If you're watching our live stream, I'm showing you this footage that was put together by the Foundation for Investigative Journalism. Our live stream is Nigeria Info 99.3 on Facebook, Nigeria Info FM on YouTube. Now, we know that usually the clients of uh, baby factories are women who are trying to fake a pregnancy and get a baby, right? But according to this report from the Foundation for Investigative Journalism, these guys are also targeting women who think they can actually get them pregnant. My guest is a journalist with FIJ. Uh, he wrote the article that has us talking today. Dami Lola Ayani, welcome to Hard Facts. Dami Lola, if you're speaking, we can't hear you. You, you seem to be muted. Hi, Dami Lola. Can you hear me? Hello? Dami Lola? Hello, can you hear me? Now we can hear you, yes. All right. Um, good evening. Good evening. Good to have you on and, the show. Um, yes, uh, compliments of the season. Compliments of the season to you as well. Uh, Lagos, I want to hear from yes. you as we have this conversation. Do you have questions for, for Dami Lola about this story, about this phenomenon? Do you know anybody who has had an encounter with a baby factory or who has gotten help faking a pregnancy or who has fallen for this type of scam? Women call us on 01465-7190. Men call us on 0700-993-993-993. Damalala, I have to ask, first of all, what got you interested in this story? Yes, um, well... Um can you hear me? Yes, go ahead, please. All right. So uh, there have been stories of um, uh, pregnancy scams, you know, online, uh, you know, before now. And then I, you know, got interested, you know, a lot of people saying they had been scammed, you know. And then they, they, there were talks about um, cryptic pregnancy, mm. you know. Cryptic pregnancy actually means something else, you know. It's, um, would I call it a disorder? I mean, doctors say it is caused by um, hormonal imbalance, or, you know, of some, something of, of that kind. Okay. So, but then, what, what people call cryptic pregnancy in this part of the world is actually fertility fraud, okay. you know, 
pregnancy exams. Okay. So that that got me quite um, you know that's what led to the investigation in the first place. Now we know of cases where a woman wants to pretend to be pregnant before getting a baby from a baby factory. So usually that woman is a is a willing accomplice with the criminals. But what we're saying here is that the criminals also tricked the woman in this story into thinking that she was pregnant. What exactly is their business model here? Well, um, um, it's, um, it's deep. It's really deep. And it's deeper than, you know, many people think. You know, um, cryptic pregnancy is a multi-million naira industry in Nigeria at the moment. Okay. Of course, the, the hot spot is the uh, eastern part of the country, but it is not limited to that part of the country, you know. Okay. Um, I understand that there are, uh, you know, these uh, some of these fake fertility clinics even here in Lagos, you know, so many parts of the country. Okay. You know, so uh, the industry actually thrives on hypnosis, you know, thrives on um, the, the, uh, on, on greed, you know, greed. And then uh, the desperation of women to, to get, get pregnant. Mm. Uh, well, you know, I pointed out in the story that, uh, you know, in Ibo land, a girl is born to be a mother. Mm. So it's like that is our destiny. Mm-hmm. You know, if you are a female, you must give birth. Mm-hmm. You know, so when the time comes for you to give birth and, you know, nothing is coming forth, you know, pressure comes from different angles, mm-hmm. you know, from the husband sometimes. Know, from the husband's relatives, from the from the woman's relatives, mm-hmm. and even from the woman, mm. you know. So, so it is this uh, pressure and this desperation that actually, uh, it is this desperation that pushes you know this woman out there, and unfortunately into the waiting hands of these criminals. Mm. You know. So so what happens is, you know, these guys are popular, quite popular. Of course, it's an underground industry mm-hmm. uh, in that people don't know how the industry works mm-hmm. you know what people know from without is the fact that oh well these people help can help you get pregnant and that is what they tell you know some of these childless women and then you know they want to try them out they get there you know so they tell you oh we can help you get pregnant mm-hmm. in fact uh, it does not matter your age you know it does not matter um your medical history mm-hmm. uh, and then they tell you, you can even determine the number of children you want. Mm-hmm. You know, you can determine the, the sex of your children. Mm. So uh, if you want triplets, we'll get you pregnant with, you know, with triplets. Mm. If you want twins, we we'll get you pregnant with twins. Mm. You you want a single term, we'll get you pregnant with one. Mm. You know, so that, that's it. And then, and then you know, for a woman that has been looking for, for a child for, I mean, sometimes over a decade, um these guys tell you to pay you know an amount of money uh if you if you want um a, a, a female for instance maybe you have to pay a hundred thousand naira if mm. you want a male you have to pay a hundred and fifty thousand naira okay. and you know after the payment a few weeks after the payment you start seeing symptoms you know you know symptoms uh your your, your belly is bulging you know you, you you feel more tired you know you you are vomiting you know and, and, you know, name, name those pregnancy symptoms. Mm-hmm. So they start seeing them and, you know, they are pleasant. And it's, it's, it's like a miracle, mm-hmm. really. You know, I've been, I've been looking for a baby for years and, you know, here are, are pregnancy symptoms. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've missed my period and, you know, you know mm-hmm. things like that. So mm-hmm. these women actually believe, you know, something has happened. You know, I'm pregnant. My, 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 my belly is bigger, you mm-hmm. know. So unfortunately... They, they are only being pumped up with uh, pregnancy hormones. Mm. And, uh, you know, sometimes you even feel like a baby is kicking in your belly. Mm. For instance, uh, Rose, uh, one of the characters in my story, mm-hmm. um, would tell me a number of times that if you are pregnant, mm. you will know. Mm. You know, mm. she was so confident that she was pregnant and she would tell me, mm. I know I'm pregnant. You know, whatever you say, whatever you do, you know, I know I'm pregnant. Mm. I feel babies kicking. I, you know, mm. I feel all this. I, I have seen all the symptoms, mm. and, you know. So that's how the industry works. And then they tell you, they tell you, 
your child is a special child. Okay. So your child does not grow in the womb. Oh God. But it is somewhere in your belly. Oh God. So that means you shouldn't bother going out there for scans or whatever. Oh God. And then they tell you these hospitals, these regular hospitals, the moment they, they run a scan and then they cannot find your baby, they and then they see your your, your bulging belly, mm-hmm. you know, they might want to wash your stomach. And then you lose your baby. So these women are scared, mm. you know, of even stepping out. So it's it's um, so the industry that's what is actually wrapped into itself. Mm. So that's how it works. And they tell you, they tell you, this pregnancy you are carrying, mm-hmm. you can carry it for as long as you for as long as it takes you to get the money for delivery. Ah. You know, we're talking about millions of naira here. Ah. So, so that, that that's what happens. That's how deep. So that's how. Is. So that's how the woman in this story was pregnant for four years. Uh, without exactly. without giving birth. Lagos, if you just tuned in, we're talking about a shocking report from the Foundation for Investigative Journalism, uh, FIJ. So if I say FIJ, you know who I'm talking about. They reported on a woman who was tricked by so-called medical professionals into thinking that she was pregnant. They got a lot of money from her. She was left thinking she was carrying a pregnancy for four years without giving birth. We're showing you uh, footage of uh, some of the conversations that the journalist who conducted this investigation uh, um, gathered while he was out in the field. You can watch it live on our on our Facebook live stream. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3, YouTube Nigeria Info FM. I want you to, uh, Damilola, I want you to walk us through this particular woman's story. She was trying hard to conceive, but no way. How did she now get into the hands of the scammers? Who introduced her? You see, um, um, Rosie's case is um, quite complex. Um, um, you know, th- there is this term in the cryptic vocabulary, so to say, um, programming, you know. Uh, so if you're looking to get pregnant, at that stage when you want to get pregnant, you will be programmed. That is what they call it, hmm. you know. So they give you some drugs, you know, some tabs to take and then you take them and then you begin to you know to see the symptoms so mm. that's what they call program mm. now so the the um funny part is that um there was no time that rose consented to programming so what happened what happened was she missed a period okay you know, and then for a woman who is nearing menopause, you know, she felt I mean, something must have happened, and then she rushed to, um, you know, hospitals. I think a few of them told her she was not pregnant. I think she was not satisfied. So, but she told me she at some point went to Enugu, okay. you know, to see a doctor. People had recommended the doctor, you know, so she went to the hospital and, and asked, and the doctor told her, "Yes, you are pregnant." You know, okay. you're pregnant. And then the doctor told her, I would give you some drugs to take. Okay. So she took those drugs and then she started seeing the symptoms. So to her, she was never programmed. You know, she missed her period, you know, the, the, the ordinary way. And then she started seeing uh, her, her tummy get bigger, hmm. you know. So that's what she understands. Okay. Um, so they charged her 1.8 million naira, according to your report, 800,000 naira upfront for the so-called uh, fertility treatment, and then the balance to help her give birth. From your investigations, are these the types of prices that these scammers are charging? Why did she bring the money out if she already went to the doctor and she felt like she was pregnant? Okay, so the doctor who confirmed uh you know uh who told her she was pregnant in Enugu actually told her that your kind of pregnancy is special mm. i mean your pregnancy is different from the regular it is called cryptic pregnancy so it was the doctor who explained to her that well your child might not be seen in scans you oh, know my. but then you have to to get yourself worried. Did she know this doctor, doctor? Sorry, did she know this doctor from anywhere, or she randomly walked into a random hospital and met a doctor who said this to her? 
the doctor was actually recommended. You know, oh, she see. lived in um, she lived in Onicha at the time. Okay. So she left Onicha for Enugu. Okay. So you who recommended you that, the doctor um, to her? She actually did, did not disclose that. To disclose, me. But then okay. it, it, a cryptic pregnancy thing is quite popular okay. in in that part of the world, and you know. From the outside, people think it is actually real. Mm. So I think pe- people who felt, well, she was taking too long to get pregnant and mm. now she she missed that period. Okay, so go to this doctor. She's, I mean, he's an expert. You know, these people actually parade themselves as experts. So you I, know? I, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to paint a picture for my listener who hasn't actually read your report. And I'm trying to uh, see the okay. timelines, right? So she missed her period okay. and assumed that she was pregnant. She went for a scan and there was no baby in her belly. Then uh, yes. she was, uh, someone recommended this particular doctor that she went to in Inugu. And then she went to that doctor. The doctor looks at her and says, oh, it's a cryptic pregnancy. Do I have that right? Yes, yes. Okay. Then how did we get to the point of money exchanging hands? 800,000 are up front and then the balance to help her give birth. Yes. Um, you know, they, 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 Belly started bulging, and then, you know, everybody knew, oh, well, everybody thought she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, at some point, some people recommended other people to her, okay. you know, as fertility experts. Some would say, okay, this person is closer, you know, this person is in Oka, this person is, you know, closer, so you don't have to go to Enugu. Mm-hmm. Or some would say, you know, some would say among these cryptic uh, pregnancy experts, mm-hmm. you know, some are so they can actually give you an arranged baby, and then she did not want it. So she stopped at some point going. She stopped going to Enugu to see that doctor. Okay. So someone else introduced another doctor to her. Okay. Now that was after one year of having the pregnancy. Okay. So she thought she'd been pregnant for over a year, and then mm. she was, you know, she just wanted to to, to, to give, give birth. birth. Mm-hmm. So someone wanted to give birth. Mm-hmm. So someone recommended another doctor to her. So she went to see the doctor, and then the doctor told her, oh, well, I understand the kind of pregnancy, and I'm willing to, to help. Mm. So the doctor then requested for 1.8 million naira, mm-hmm. out of which she paid, you know, 800,000 mm-hmm. to balance up, you know, after delivery. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, when they went for delivery, the doctor said she she had been uh, she had been um, in the theater for long and she could no longer proceed the delivery on that day so she told them to come back ah. so you know and, and then um, subsequently the, 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 their conversations you know uh became quite um uh, organized you know the, the doctor was kind of elevating and then they got the police involved and then the, the doctor fled Okay, this is such a wild story because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand how they were able to convince her that she was pregnant. I'm trying to understand how she got into a theater and stayed in the theater for hours and after not giving birth while in the theater was convinced to come back the next day to keep trying to give birth. Um, um, What's the education level of, of the woman in, in, in this story? Um, I have so many questions because this is, it, even when I was reading your report, I was finding it really difficult to wrap my head around this story. How were they able to convince her that she was pregnant and she carried that pregnancy for four years and not once did she uh, uh, see a child in a sonogram or hear a heartbeat or anything of the sort, uh, Damilola? Okay, um... Yes, I think you got something wrong. Okay. Now, she did not, she, she was not in the theater. The doctor said she had been in the theater for so long and that she was, sorry, that he had been in the theater for so long and that he was tired. And oh, that no he was in the theater. Was oh, it's the doctor himself. Yes, yes. Okay, so doctor yes. said, oh, I've been in the theater for so long. Doctor. Yes. yes. So this alleged yes. doctor oh. claimed that he'd been in theater for too long. He can't help her deliver her baby on this day. So she should come back the next exactly. day. And this was four years yes. after she'd been having a belly, thinking she was pregnant? That was just uh, about over a year. I mean, uh, about two years after carrying the pregnancy. Hmm. Okay, so they got the police involved when the doctor refused to give them, uh, you know, another date for mm-hmm. delivery, mm-hmm. and then the doctor fled. Mm. You know, so the doctor fled. Mm. That's actually closed the doctor's chapter. But you know what is... Now, so, but, but sorry, Damlola, you know what is doing my head in? In your report, you said she went to multiple hospitals and labs 
and they all confirmed that she was pregnant. How is that possible? Is there a conspiracy here? How far reaching is this conspiracy? Yes, so, um, you know, this thing is deeper than many people think. You know, I said that earlier. Yeah. And uh, I think time will not allow me to, you know, really, you know, explore the depth. But uh, this is it. Um, so, when she left that doctor, you know, one thing is, one thing is, you always have people around you who can say, oh, well, I went through the same process. Because, you know, you, you ask a question, you, you ask how you know she 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 became convinced or, or something like that mm -hmm. so she had people to refer to she had seen people who had gone through the same process and then who were now carrying their babies now in the story um i i have two women two women were actually documented mm -hmm. so one had five kids i think six tri triplets twins and a single tone mm -hmm. you know from the process mm -hmm. so and that one was actually uh, Rosie's friend. So she had actually seen that. So she felt, well, the God that did it for, for, for my friend for can my actually friend. do it for me. So, so, she went, so she went to the same labs that her friend went to? Is that why they all yes. agreed that, oh, yes, you're pregnant? Because they knew what was happening. And so they all conspired? Is yes. that what you're saying? Exactly, exactly. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Lagos, join the conversation. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. I'm sure that you can hear how I'm struggling with this story, Lagos. You can also send us a message on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. If, you, if you've if you been watching us live on Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3, you've been seeing footage of uh, some of the characters in this story that Damilola Yeni has told us. 99.3, hello. Good evening, uh, Madam Sandra. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Uh, this is Pastor Ladiko. Welcome, Pastor Ladiko. You've got one minute. Yes. The thing is this, eh? This pregnancy scam. Mm. This thing is rampant. And I see someone that you will even see the whole sign that she's pregnant. But you'll be wondering when she wants to deliver, they will travel and say the hospital is not in Lagos, here and there. Mm. Now, after the child is delivered, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. after some time, the child will look like the person. So it leaves someone to doubt. Thank you and God bless you. Okay, Pastor Ladipo, thank you very much for calling. We'll take a break. It's four minutes long. When we come back from this four-minute break, we'll keep talking because I have a few other questions to ask, and I'm sure you do as well, Lagos. So keep those questions coming till we come back from this break. Today we're talking about how rampant fake pregnancies are, fake pregnancy scams are in the Southeast. They focus on the Southeast, but perhaps, like Damilola says, uh, it's also as endemic in other parts of the country. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. Charles, I noticed you barely use this.
We're talking about this because Dami Lola Yani from the Foundation for Investigative Journalism reported on a woman who was tricked by so-called medical professionals into thinking that she was pregnant. They got a lot of money from her. She was left thinking she was carrying a pregnancy for four years without giving birth. This is somebody who went to several lab uh, technicians, several doctors, and according to Dami Lola, there was some sort of conspiracy that led her to believe that her empty stomach had a baby in it, but somehow that baby just couldn't show up on scans. Lagos, let's hear from you. 0700 993 993 993. That's for men. Women call us on 01465 7190. Now, before I come to Lagos, Damilola, I, I have to quickly ask. This woman had the pregnancy symptoms for four years, and I'm really struggling to understand how how she could think that this was possible. And even if she did, doesn't she have other people around her who can say, look, we've never heard of anything like this before. We've never seen this type of pregnancy before. This is not normal. This is not pregnancy. Well, um, you know, she 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 was told at the start. I don't know. Can you hear me? Sandra? Yes, uh-huh. go ahead, please. Okay, so she was told at the start that um, she she was carrying a special baby, and then she was told she could, you know, carry the baby for as long as it would take her to to get the money needed for you know for the delivery. So she carried the baby for so long because she was. Um, defrauded at first by uh, one doctor, you know, took 800,000 from uh, Naira from her, and then she could not come up with, you know, uh, the 1.8 million Naira. I think the 3.6 million Naira 
you know, required for the delivery. So, and that was the reason she kept carrying the baby. You know, for um, one child, you would pay 1.8 million naira for delivery. So, for two children, and you know, she was said to be carrying twins. So, she needed 3.6 million naira to deliver them. So, that that was that was the reason she, you know, had to carry the baby for so long. Yes, now, but but I mean. As a woman, we all know that uh, it's 40 weeks, you know, you're, you're getting to 42 weeks and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really struggling, Jamilola. I'm, I'm really, really struggling. <laughs> I understand, Sandra. Uh, you see, um, you know, I, I said it earlier that the industry tries on hypnosis, you know. So she was um, hypnotized? <laughs> You know, to an extent, it thrives on, on delusion, you know. So I think, you, you know, um, and then I think religious, uh, like other leaders, religious people also play the role because she had um, a spiritual mother who told her, yes, I, you know, uh, witches and wizards, you know, are responsible, you know, to an extent. You know, she said she had seen the kids in her dream. Oh, and then so, so she actually felt, well, um, she was being attacked, you know, you know, and you know things like that. So, so there, there the were there were there were psychological explanations for her for why it exactly. is it is possible there was an explanation for why she hadn't given birth it's because I let me let me even concede. Okay, she couldn't raise the eight hundred thousand naira. That's fine, or she couldn't raise the rest of the money. That's fine. But if you carry Bele, you go Bonham at some point, right? You know. So yes. I, I'm just trying to understand why. Even though the, the doctor fled and they were trying to get the money back and all of the other things that happened, her stomach was still big, you know. How did that go on for four years? You know, you know, this is it. Um, people kept on recommending different um, cryptic experts. Yeah, so... In, in, in those four years, she kept on visiting different places, you know, and then many of them told her, well, you will give birth, we need money. So when I met her initially, she actually told me that all she needed was money to birth, you know, the children, the twins, because they had told her she was carrying twins. So it was the, 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 the major thing that actually stopped her from you know, delivering the, uh, uh, the the cryptic way was money. You know, and then because because of the spiritual side, mm. you know, uh, yes, this experts, this cryptic experts, mm. so called, mm -hmm. you know, kept telling her, you know, uh, you know, she was carrying spiritual children and all. She believed herself that she was being attacked spiritually. You know, that some forces were actually preventing her from uh, delivering the kids the normal way. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, so really how, how, how is she, like, this is such a mixed bag. It's such a wild story. How is she doing right now? Is she getting medical help for the side effects of these drugs they gave her? Is her stomach still swollen? Where, what, what's, what's the update on her story right now? Yes, um, Sandra, you know, that is the uh, the crazy part. Uh, that's the crazy part. Now, you read the story, you can remember I talked about two women. One who has skipped from this uh, process, and then after DNA, mm -hmm. we found out that she is actually not the mother of any of the kids. Mm -hmm. Now, so we have the, the, uh, we have the, the DNA results in the story. Mm -hmm. Now, despite the DNA... Mm this woman still believes she's the mother of those kids now she told me uh in a conversation i had with her today mm. that she had been warned not to go for dna but because she she just wanted to help her friend you know mm. she said she said uh, a nurse a cryptic nurse i told her that well dna is just about proteins and also dna does not you know get it right so oh don't do God. dna so now that the results came back showing that she never gave birth to those kids. She just thinks, well, uh, the cryptic what nurse the was nurse right. So there's yes, a lot exactly. of ignorance at play here, is what I'm hearing. Exactly. So ignorance. you, so you have uh, a, you, you have a, you have a cocktail of 
ignorance, desperation, religion, and criminals, and and psychological manipulations, you and know. and it's and it's just a recipe for for disaster. But I'm more focused on the one who has had a bloated stomach for years. Um, how is she doing herself in particular? Not the woman with the six kids now, Rose. How is Rose doing? Yes, Rose is fine, uh, but she still believes she's pregnant. Her stomach done less. They don't less her stomach. No, the, the, the stomach is still there. Wow. Uh, it's so unfortunate, but Rose still believes she's pregnant. So we're actually looking to get a psychotherapist, you know, yeah, you know, can I mean, be of help. if you've been, if you've believed you were pregnant for four years, it's going to be really hard to believe otherwise. Clearly, these rackets, these pre pregnancy rackets have become a, a massive criminal industry, especially, um, you know, in where you did your own report in the southeast because they're going between Anambra and Unugu. Why have they been able to thrive? Why haven't the authorities been able to 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 break them? Are the authorities even, authorities even aware that this is happening and this is a huge industry? Well, I think, um, well, the, 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 even the authorities needed evidence. You know, um, um, I mentioned in the story that uh, at some point the House of Representatives actually discussed it and then uh, they said, you know, it's needed to be investigated at, at the point because no one really had an explanation. Because, you know, a, a woman called in um, some minutes ago saying that some of these kids actually look like the parents. So how do you explain this? You know, so so. Well, hus many uh, husbands and wives, uh, husbands and wives start to look together the longer they live together. So that's not really proof of anything that they look like you. Exactly, it's not, it's not proof that they're yours. A DNA test is irrefutable proof of of who owns a child. You know, so how? Exactly. How, I, but again, my question about the authorities, you know. Are, are they aware now that your story is out there have you gotten any word at all from perhaps the nigerian medical association the police this is a criminal activity going on yeah we've not got um uh, a reaction from anyone um yes we know so many people read the story you know it's it's uh, went far but then we are still expecting uh, the authorities to to take, to take action you know we've not got words from anyone anyone let's go to lagos now 99.3 hello uh, hello thanks for calling what's your name ma'am i am jane from okoko welcome jane from okoko please this thing you are saying i'm so shocked and shouting here girl this thing is happening actually everything the doctor said is happening to my neighbor oh Oh my goodness! Right now, as I'm talking to you, she travels since last twenty uh, years ago, December. She traveled for Esma's uh, uh, the village. Okay. The husband came back alone with the kids. Okay. He said the wife wants to stay there so they will look to see what is happening to her, so she will give to bed before she comes. But the husband joined her this past asthma. Okay. She still did not live and she was carrying that pregnancy before she packed into the compound where we are saying and now she's two years, three to three years here now. And she's, she's been pregnant for pregnancy. three years. So I am shouting, I'm saying this is what is happening to her. She don't know I don't know if she knows or or whether she don't know but this is right there in the east. I don't know if she knows about it or she doesn't know. Some, she went to scan, she didn't see anything. She was telling me it's not true that she used to feel the baby moving. Oh, but my. you didn't see anything in this scan. So everything this uh, Mr. Demola is saying, I think is, is exactly what is happening to her. My she has the symptoms of pregnancy. And if you tell her she's not pregnant, she said it's forces that is spying her. They say it's witchy. They say it's bad. Oh, Each time I call her from Lagos, and she will tell me I shouldn't wear their seat print. They say very soon she will deliver. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh, I am my. shouting, telling my husband. I think I will record these things to keep. Oh so my. when he comes, so he will know it's a scan. I oh, don't know what. Oh my! Oh my God! My Jane, <laughs> thank you for calling. Ninety-nine point three. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? Is happiness from Kredo. Happiness, welcome. Yeah, Sandra, my question is, does stomach will it ever go down? Um, I, well, Damilola is a journalist like myself, so I don't know whether he has that answer, but I'll ask him if, if that stomach will ever go down. It's 
Sorry, Bulu. Uh, yes, um, can I answer that? Yes, Come yes, Damiola, go ahead, answer that. So, when they stage uh, the delivery, when they stage the delivery, mm -hmm. they have a way of making the stomach go down. Okay. You know, so they have a way of doing it. They treat them, you know, maybe use warm water and maybe give them some, some drugs to, okay. to, to let the stomach go down. Okay, okay. They give them drugs to let the stomach go down. 99.3, hello. <laughs> Good evening. Good to have you on the show, sir. Good evening. Yes, my name is I.K. Moore from Olabisi on Avenger University. Welcome, I.K. Yes. I, my wife had an encounter with a woman who was begging for money for this kind of thing. Okay. And the woman said that others who do, don't want to give her money we are wicked. He said the relations are wicked. The One of the brother-in-laws brother was rich and he wanted to give them money. And I said, how can somebody be pregnant? That one was already three years. The woman believed she was pregnant, mm. and that only money was her problem. Oh, man. Oh, and man. she was calling with everybody who didn't give her money. Oh, man. So that was a case I've had before this year's story now. Oh, man. She came to be pregnant. She claimed they charged her such a humongous amount so as to deliver. Oh, and man. she believed that if she had the money, she would have delivered all along ago. Oh, so man. So depression, ignorance. These are the two factors. Depression and ignorance. Thank you very much for calling. Okay, Lagos, what needs to happen here? Who needs to solve this problem? Is it the police? Is it the Nigerian Ministry of Health? Is it the Nigerian Medical Association? Because these are allegedly doctors, allegedly medical professionals. So I'm guessing even the N Nursing Practitioners Council needs to get involved as well. You know, these are allegedly doctors, also lab technicians. So who are the regulators for lab? Like, this is such a racket. You have labs in on this. You have doctors and nurses allegedly in on Whose job? I'm afraid. I've got goosebumps. Whose job is it to... Oh my God! Oh my God! Ninety-nine point three. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, ma'am. Oh, uh, sir. This thing you people are saying, honestly, eh? Mm. It sweats my feet. Uh, let me remain anonymous. Okay. The same. My my colleague is facing the same thing. Her own is even three years, and yeah. they said her own. They need two point five million. She travels now oh. to Kaduna to go and seek for money Ooh. to go and look for money to do that i think it's the running thing now three good years three years now and i asked her that is there any special thing they want to they say that they have special doctors that do handle for such a pregnancy or whatever oh okay. no problem so she said she has two million now that she remaining five hundred thousand so she went to kaduna to go and look for five hundred thousand so she, we are waiting for when she will put to bed three good years now oh I'm my goodness you. thank you for calling sorry about that Dami Lola. um on the demand side you have lots of women who are not trying to scam anybody they just want to get pregnant they just want a baby so there's also a need to sensitize women about the dangers of these fake uh, 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 fertility clinics and how to spot them. Do you have any tips, Damilola? Okay, uh, well, um, yes, uh, we, we've we done our part as um, journalists. Um, I, I did my part, you're doing your part now. Um, so I, I think um, the civil society uh, organizations have to step in now, you know, um, you have to rescue this woman. Uh, you know, that lady just said uh, a neighbor had gone to look for two million naira. You know, that is, that is, you know, um, that is going to be too bad, you know, if, you know, the authorities watch that woman, you know, lose that amount of money, that money. you know. So, so I think a lot of people have to be involved, uh, the police, you know, the different security um, agencies and especially the civil society organizations you know they do advocacy they do um, different things that can actually help prevent you know people from from seeking help from uh, these criminals hmm. oh my 99.3 hello hello good evening ma good evening sir what's your name uh, the name is mr Kedi. welcome yes um i think uh my own case is slightly different because I'm a man. Okay. But I do know these things exist. Okay. Now, my case was 
it happened a very long time ago anyway. Okay. So I had this situation and I was taken to the lab. Mm. I was asked to lie down. Okay. Then at a point, they said I should get up. I felt something was coming inside my private part, something like that. Okay. So at the end of the day, when I got up, mm. they brought a bowl and it was full of maggots and all kind of things. Okay. So I was asked to buy a particular drug. Then, then it was seventeen thousand naira, which was like. So, but seeing those things, I was a bit confused. Okay. I've gone to several places. There was no answer. So, I started to pay this one actually, and at the end of the day, it got to a point I realized these guys were doing me some kind of things. Okay. But I was too too ashamed and too afraid to tell anybody. Anyone. Yeah. So, judging from what they are saying here, mm. apart from hypnotism. I think this, the, the syndicate has a way of doing this thing. So the best thing is for the authorities to take up the necessary action right now that very many people have called in to say, to okay, say. they have had an experience, they have had experience with very close relatives or friends up there. So I think the authorities should take note of it and then do the and get involved before people lose all of their... In fact, some of these people are looking for money. They don't even have it. Yeah. Somebody with deep problems, people are having problems onto their own problems. Right. How Carlos can we get? My goodness. I'm really sorry you experienced that, but thank you so much for calling to share. Sorry about that. Give us a call back if you can. Hello. All right. Give us a call back if you can. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? This is M.M. M.M., welcome. Um, Sandra, the, 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 the worst part of this story now mm. is when they're ready for the people that have money, these mm. 2.5 and all that, mm. And say, say mm. the worst part of it, the mothers that have given birth, which they deprive them from that baby and carry it to give them because it's still arrangement in Enugu and all that. That's right. It has happened to a close person. But the person came back with a baby, which I can't disclose the name. Mm. And at the end of the day, we still know somehow, somehow, the mother said this was a child and all that. Mm. So the worst part of all these arrangements is the Women, they deprive from the baby of because it's always child. arrangement and carry and give to these people because yeah. that's what they do for the people that have that money. That's two million, that's three million and yeah. all that. Yeah. Thank you very much for calling. At the end of the day, all of this is because we put pressure on married couples to produce babies. If that pressure didn't exist, um, people would not be going to all of these desperate lengths, you know, to have children. Dr. Dedayo says, unfortunately, you'll be surprised how many lay people do not understand what a scientific cryptic uh, pregnancy means. Discussions on social media sites about this quickly makes you understand how ingrained the belief systems, religious, social, traditional of people can affect their reality. You know, growing up, we used to hear stories of women who will be pregnant you know, for years, and uh, the people will say, oh, it's Jujuda, they used to tie them, you know. And I never really paid attention to it because I just felt it was rubbish that people were saying. But now, you know, I'm paying attention, and you realize that all of those stories you heard growing up about some woman being tied with Juju and she was pregnant for years, it's hormonal injections that and, and other things that have been given to her by, by, by criminals to let her think that she's pregnant. So that also tells you how long this thing has been in existence it also leads you to ask well why do we not have a bigger crackdown on this industry we've got sam from surulere who says uh what is the end game do they steal the babies for them dami lola what's the end game do they steal the babies for them okay um yes the, the uh, this facility Clinics, these fake fertility clinics actually work with uh, baby factories, you know, that supply them. So, so I, I wouldn't say they steal because sometimes the mothers of these babies are aware, you know, people who want money, you know, some of them are actually into that business, business of getting pregnant and, you know, selling uh, the, the babies, you know. So, and then it's, it's not impossible. It is also possible that some of the babies are stolen, but in most cases, they work hand in hand with baby factories where people are paid to get pregnant and uh, they are fed, they are taken care of, and then they are given money at the end of the day. So I think that's how it works. 
Okay. Well, Damiola, thank you for the great work that you have done. And if you do hear back from, uh, you know, any regulatory uh, agencies or the police about what they intend to do about this big story that you've broken, would love to hear from you again. But thank you so much uh, for your time today, Damiola. Thank you so much, Sandra. I really appreciate this opportunity. Mm. Thank you. Damiola is a journalist with the Foundation for Investigative Journalism, and he did that report. And, uh, of course, if you just tuned in and you missed the first half of the conversation, you can listen again on our website. Our website is nigeriainfo.fm. That's all the time we have today. This is quite the shocking story. I'm going to need some time to recover. We'll bring you the news at 6 o'clock. After the news at 6 o'clock, we'll bring you... Uh, uh, news from the newsroom every monday from 6 15 the newsroom gathers to bring you all of the biggest stories that broke um last week i'm sandra ezekwesili s ezekwesili on social media those were your hard facts lagos good night And I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running late to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat this time? Yes, when is the president coming out to address us? There's a few things. One, I have a burden and a passion for young people. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given M time. Mr. Adeshino, isn't the president responsible to the people? What should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit? You fire them. Those that need to be fired, they're fired. Looking like the brand new Chelsea, attacking with so much fluidity. Now, what can you say about that, Martin? I know you follow Chelsea quite closely. I live close to the Chelsea training ground. That's what you mean by that. I'm not <laughs> a Chelsea.